how many of you have shot a bow before? Okay, cool. How many of you have shot a bow without permission before? Cool. All right. <laughs> slide, please. That's a bow. Slide, please. That's a danger sign. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to be informing you on how bows can potentially be dangerous. And I'm going to do it with an example. So me and my friends, we'll call him Alex Resensnop because he's, you know, my name. Well, we were bored one day, and I had just gotten this new bow, right? It's beautiful. So we're like, hey, let's go shoot a bow. It's like, okay, where's the bow? I've got a bow. So we head over to my backyard. And we set up hay bales, so if we accidentally miss the hay bales, nothing bad is going to happen. So we're shooting the bow, right? And we're shooting targets. It's really easy. So we get bored after a while, right? Because, you know, it's a bow. So it was like, okay, let's invent a new game. We're going to take this arrow. We're going to put the bow down. We're going to call this game lucky. So we take an arrow and we throw it up in the air. And it spins around, right? And to get lucky, it has to land straight into the ground, right? And that doesn't happen very often, so we play to like three. So we're doing that, and then again we get bored, so we try, you know, javelin, we throw it, just like that. So we do that for a while, okay, we get bored. So we take the bow, and we're like, okay, now you go stand over there, and I'm gonna shoot the bow straight up, and I want you to dodge it. <laughs> so I take the bow, and we're shooting straight up, and just you know, matrixing everything. So after a while, we switch. And, you know, that can only be fun for so long. So it's like, okay, now I want you to stay in that place without moving. And I want, here's an arrow. I want you to block it as it comes down. Okay, so this is a while ago, and we're not really thinking, so we do it. And it's pretty fun, because you're like, whoa. And nobody gets hurt. It's like, okay. We're pretty much invincible. <laughs> so, I take the bow, and as I shoot it up, I aim it a little too far that way. When I let it go, the arrow goes soaring into my neighbor's yard. And you hear this big clunk. And, hey! <laughs> okay. Well, apparently it had hit the shed. Like, what my neighbor was standing right by. <laughs> so, of course, we book it, but there's nowhere to run because it's in my backyard. <laughs> so, he comes over. Is this your arrow? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my arrow. <laughs> I'm keeping this arrow. Uh, okay, I, I understand. You almost killed me with this arrow. Okay, dude, we, we get it. We'll try and shoot the other way next time. <laughs> um, so, can I have a card thing? <laughs> okay, so that is why arrows and bows are potentially dangerous. All right, so, I'm going to give you an example of why rocks can be dangerous. <laughs> Masks can be dangerous, and sticks can be dangerous. So, I'm with Alex Resnestop again. <laughs> and we live on this big hill. And at the bottom of the hill, okay, there's this Cannon Valley Trail where bikers like to go. And in between that, there's uh, this woods. It's all woods, so we can sit there. We can hide, we can make cool noises, and, you know, try to scare them. Because everyone likes to scare people, right? Especially if they're riding bikes with babies on the back. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. We don't do that with babies. <laughs> okay, so, we go down this hill, right? And we take a mask with...
Um, the first time, you know, we're kind of chicken at first, so we just hide up in the hills and make weird noises, like bird noises and stuff. And the guys are going, what? Did you hear that bird, man? No, that wasn't a bird. That was us. <laughs> okay, so sooner or later, we, we become more brave. And we put on the mask on. So and then we're standing in the, we're standing on the, on the bike path, just like this. In the middle of it. <laughs> so a biker comes, he's like, and he's just pedaling along, you know. He's like, whoa! Why is there a ghost right there? You know, so we're like, okay, that was that was kind of that was kind of funny. But you know what would be really funny? If we threw rocks. <laughs> Uh, that was not a great idea. I guess people don't like it when you throw rocks at their bike. I, who knew, right? So we, we stopped that after we get yelled. So we yelled out a couple times. So we decided to move these big logs into the middle of the path to hopefully barricade the path out and stop all bikers from throwing past. Uh, we get caught doing that, so we, we, we bring in this big log off, and all of a sudden, the guy rises up. I'm gonna cut you off. Yeah. You're not taking this assignment seriously. I've never cut someone off. Very